Hello you lovelies, welcome to the channel, it's Rad and after about a couple of years of break I am back with another set of videos and uh, these videos are going to be for uh, the week of 8th to 14th of April just let me make sure, yeah it is uh, from 8th to uh, 14th of April 2024 and they will refer to your star signs. Uh, this reading is going to refer to your star signs, so bear that in mind. And while you can use its information uh, to your own discretion, use it as a guidance, as advice. Uh, they may not 100% reflect to your personal situations. If you do wish me to read for your personal situations, you can always go to my website, a uh, link of which you will find in the description down below. There at the very front page, you will see full list of my services and as well their pricing. And based on your budget and as well your needs, you can go for uh, whichever one suits you best. So with that said and without further ado, let's jump straight away to the videos. Sagittarius is on our hands now and uh, I'm going to use a couple of systems. Uh, uh, well, first I would like to say that this reading is important to me because my moon is in Sagittarius. So it's going to affect me a big way, but I am going to use a couple of systems here. Now the first one is going to show us a important situation or important event for Sagittarius. Taro, of course, is going to be the main course and Taro is going to show us how this situation or event is going to develop. And the event or the situation is a secret, secret that is going to come up, uh, some kind of an information these three cards and that secret or rather like an information that you are unaware of right now especially if you are male is that your girlfriend is pregnant that is very uh, prominent as we do have that child here well if you are a woman that also could be an information you know you make your test and it's kind of like it's a secret you 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 bore it up until this point not knowing that you're pregnant that could be the case but this is very specific what i mean is taro is not designed to read health and pregnancy it's a health condition it's related to your health so uh the other way how these cards could manifest as a uh, uh as an event it is that um a minor character whom is a woman in your environment delivers you an information you are you were unaware of and that information now we are going to check out how is going to serve you right and what kind of an information that's going to be but it's going to be like a secret okay let's shuffle the tarot give a riffle for a good measure These are the three. So, first one is the Empress, Six of Swords, the second and the third one, it is the Two of Wands. Actually, that's going to be very important information. And uh, the two have been Sagittarius, the two have been beguiled, right? The two have been beguiled into doing, I can't really say the wrong thing but the inefficient thing. And this person is giving you that information so you can halt and rethink your actions, rethink the actions that you are about to make. That could concern your business, it could concern your social life, it could concern your career. And now the first thing that came to my mind, you know, someone gives you signals that they like you, they flirt with you and whatnot, and their friend that you barely know comes about feeling pity for you and tells you they're just playing with you, man. I mean, what they're showing isn't genuine. It's just a game for them. So don't embarrass yourself going forward and, you know, opening up with your feelings because you are going to end up not just only disappointed, 
but also humiliated. You know, that unfortunately, that could be the case here. Uh, it doesn't have to be that bad, though, right? It could be just, for example, an investment you are planning to do and someone that it is from the other side tells you that's a sinking ship, okay? Don't waste your money in it. It's just a sinking ship. But what uh, this information is going to be all about for regards to uh, these tarot cards, it's a planned move. You are planning to make that move because how it was described to you and what you saw, it was actually like almost a 100% guarantee that you are like, that you are going to get money from it, okay? That uh, <clears throat> you are going to uh, end up ahead and, and whatnot, okay? Lies, at least according to these cards, for, or at least for the major part of it lies if they told you there is no risk in it they lied and you are going to get that information that secret that you have been beguiled to think of that you are uh further ahead than you actually are and uh, what will be the result of all that it's actually a halt on the operation from your behalf and withdraw from the midst of its activities which is going to be super positive thing for you uh, because what you're going to need to do here is rethink what you actually can gain from all that whether it is a romantic endeavor whether it is a uh, uh, a business endeavor, personal endeavor, and whatnot. And um, what you're going to come up with as a decision here is going to be probably one of the best, um, let's call it that way, choices, the most mature choices about how to go about one thing or another, how to go about that information you got than you have made in your recent past. Because it doesn't have to be a choice where you withdraw. You may come up with a, um, a plan how to use it against those that try to lie you, that try to rob you, that try to steal from you, or the very least to try to take advantage of your trustworthy nature. Right? And uh, based on this decision, there is going to be a long-term consequences. So you are going to reap what you sow based on this information that is going to come your way, whether that is a bitter or sweet, because you have a choice not to believe in that information. A go and go head first, crashing into that disaster. That is your choice. Okay, Taro nor Lenormand can take choices from you. <clears throat> but it's highly advisable, at least uh, from the Taro cards, take your time off. Take some time off and try to rescale the operation that you have an information about uh, and you and uh, under, how can I put it into words, with an absence of a pressure of the midst of activity so you can get a more objective perspective on what kind of a position you are in and how to go about it and the, the decision or rather like the best option available is going to come. That is going to be, again, the most mature choice you have made up in your recent past. So that is a week where you are about to be forewarned by a woman that you consider a minor character for you. And uh, yeah, that's the, the most prominent way. As far as pregnancy goes, it will be quite unexpected. And uh, if you find out that you're pregnant, it will be a bit of a shock. We can see that with the Six of Swords to the Empress card. Before you decide how to go about it, take some time. Okay, do not make it rational. Do not go for termination. Or it's alternative without actually thinking very carefully about it. So that said, Sagittarius, this was your uh, weekly reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And uh, if you do so, please subscribe for the channel or consider subscribing for the channel and uh, leaving us a like. Hopefully we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.